Hey everybody. So for the last video, we talked about suppressors. For this one, let's kind of go over muzzle brakes and kind of the science and design behind those. So one of the main guiding principles is the conservation of momentum. So basically momentum is mass times velocity, and that is conserved between a system. So the purpose of muzzle brake is to reduce felt recoil to the shooter by directing the gases that leave the barrel out and away. So let's kind of come and look and see how that actually ends up working. So upon ignition of the case, you have all of the gunpowder that's in the cartridge that gets burnt and converted into a gas. That gas heats up and expands, pushes the bullet out of the end of the barrel. So back to the momentum. You have a mass and velocity of the bullet that comes out, but you also have the mass and velocity of the gas. So those combine to kind of get you the momentum of the projectile, and that is what ends up pushing back on the rifle, causing the felt recoil. So because we can't redirect anything from the bullet, we need it to go where it wants to go, we can only redirect the gases. So what we do is try to divert them to the side, change their momentum by changing their direction. So there's a few ways we do this, a few of the typical designs. Um, first one is known as a radial brake. So basically it just has ports all the way around the muzzle brake and it diverts gases 360 degrees around the brake. So very effective, but they do have one downside. Because the gases are directed all the way around, if you're close to the ground or by dirt, um, you'll end up having some gases go down and that will kick up quite a bit of debris. So dust and debris just kind of causes problems. So because of that, we have this other style, which is known as a side baffle. So that's what I've got here. This is one I just took off my competition gun. But as you can see, this one is direct or designed to only direct the gases at the three and the nine o'clock position, not pushing any down so you don't get the kick up of dust and debris. So both of these are very effective. Both of them redirect the gas as well, but that is kind of typically why you see the two different styles. So the one downside you get to this is because you are now changing the direction of the gases, the pressure wave and the sound wave is no longer kind of going forward out of the barrel. You're redirecting it and you're ending up with sound waves getting pressed out of the side, um, directed more towards the shooter. So that is why when you use a muzzle brake, you typically get a much louder noise signature at the shooter than you would otherwise. So because of that, you're also directing gases out of the side. If you're shooting near people, if you're shooting at a gun range, um, you will not make any friends, but they are very good at reducing felt recoil because of the conservation of momentum. The gases are getting pushed out of the side. They're no longer getting pushed directly out of the barrel. So the force getting pushed back on the gun is significantly less, and that's how they work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I appreciate it. Thanks.